Thanks for tuning in today. We're going to be talking about our, our carbonator and how to start up a carbonator. A uh, couple of simple steps. These steps will work for your initial startup and you can also use it if you run into a situation where your carbonator is out of cycle and giving off too much gas. Uh, so today we're going to demonstrate with a Big Mac carbonator. Uh, the procedure is the same if you have a Cornelius or if you have a Lancer carbonator. It's all the same input, output, and functionality. So in this case, our Big Mac is already staged and set up. I have my water supply going into the water pump. Um, we have our CO2 gas going into the top of the tank. And then this is our seltzer line going over, in this case, over to our, our tower. All carbonators are going to have some kind of check valve system so that the water doesn't, high pressure water doesn't flow back into your system. With a Big Mac carbonator, you have a clear tube. A lot of people are confused with this. You don't actually have to um, do anything with this. This is just a vent tube. If you ever have water coming out of your vent tube, it's an indication that your check valves are beginning to fail or have failed. Um, and then you have a stainless steel tank. This is where the seltzer water is maintained. And there's a pressure relief valve for safety and a float mechanism. The float is a mechanical float. It goes up and down as the water level goes up and down, and that's what cycles the carbonator on and off. So a carbonator essentially is off most of its time. Um, so if you run into a situation where your unit is in operation and you have a not, something like this, a not a normal flow of seltzer water, we refer to that as being gassed out. So the procedure that I'm going to do is going to clear that, and it does also the same procedure if you want to do a startup. So if you're in a situation where you're starting up for the first time, well, you have that going on, what you need to do is make sure that your water supply is on, and then you need to turn off your CO2 gas. Step one was open your water supply. Step two, or ensure your water supply is on. Step two is to close your CO2 gas. And then you're going to want to unplug the carbonator, disable it. You can either go to the end of the plug, or a lot of people will just pull the plug off at the float and probe mechanism. So now the carbonator can't cycle on. So what we want to do is fill the tank full of water. So if I was to open this, you can see there's a lot of gas coming out of the tank. A lot of gas coming out of the tank. So I'm going to relieve the gas pressure. And it is now filling up full of water. You may not be able to hear it, but I can hear it filling up full of water. So our starting point is to get the tank full of water. You might want a rag or something because you will get some water spray. And the tank is filling, filling. Just take a few moments. Now, at the valve, while it's filling up, you have two inputs in a valve. You have seltzer water and you have syrup. So if you want to do this procedure and not have a lot of loss of syrup, you can actually just turn your syrup off at the valve and leave the seltzer water on. So we're going to fill up the unit completely. Okay. Oh, and there we go. We've got water coming out of the unit. So you want to wipe that up. So at this point, the tank is completely full of plain still water. So what we want to do is, at this point, we're simply going to dispense out of here. Now, if I was to plug up the power to the carbonator, because the float is in the upper position, it's not going to come on. Water on, electricity on, and I can turn on, at this point, my <coughs> CO2 gas. So the carbonator is in its starting position. So what you're going to see is it's going to start running plain water first. There we go. And it's going to burp a little bit of air, but if you can see in the video, it's very clear plain water, still water. Now at this point, we have to empty about half of that tank. And it will take a few minutes to do that. I'm going to use a bigger container. So what's going to happen next? The carbonator is going to kick on um, in just a few minutes. And at that point, we're going to go from plain still water to carbonated water. So it's that easy. So as, as it's doing that, I'm just going to walk through the steps again. So basically, you want to turn your water, make sure your water supply is on, turn off your CO2 gas coming into the tank, undo your electrical input to the carbonator, open up the pressure relief valve until it fills up full of water in the tank. And then at that point, you reverse the order, turn the power on to the carbonator, turn your CO2 gas back on, and dispense until it turns into seltzer water. And it does take a few minutes. You do have to be patient because you're going to have to di dispense quite a bit out of the tank. And that is why we also disable the syrup. 
So at this point, we're only running seltzer water at the valve. We're not wasting any syrup. And again, you can do that by turning off your syrup at the valve. Um, if you happen to have a valve that doesn't have a back lock with a shutoff, There we go. We're gonna let that carbonator run. It's gonna run for about 25 seconds. And basically we're now making seltzer water. So what's going on now? Basically, we have our CO2 gas coming in and we have essentially seltzer water in our tank. So this is a normal soda fountain system at this point, um, except that I don't have my syrup on, but if I was to get one drink, Nothing's going to happen because I'm depleting the seltzer water from the reservoir tank. If I get a second drink, nothing much is going to happen. But by the time I get to my third or fourth drink, depending on the size of your cup, your carbonator will cycle on. So there's the second one. Here's my third one. And probably about halfway through my fourth, it'll kick on. So let's see what we get. There we go. It'll run for about 15 to 25 seconds. Turn itself off automatically. And at that point, we have a working seltzer system. Pretty simple. Hook up your water, hook up your gas, make sure you have your seltzer output, disable it, turn the gas off, fill it full of water, and then reverse the process and dispense till the carbonator cycles on. Hopefully that's helpful. And thank you for taking a look at our video. Uh, we are SodaDispenserDepot.com. We sell everything you need for beverage equipment. Thanks very much.